5 o'clock, 69 degrees. We had some strong storms sweeping through our area overnight. It left thousands of people in the dark. A quarter, half an inch in the heavier totals, but those were further west. Notice everything really weakening. We do have some lingering showers out there off to the north and west, pushing out of Connecticut right now and out of the Hudson Valley. Most of us just waking up with some clouds. We have a front that's continuing to fall southward slowly, but look at these temperatures out through the Hudson Valley where you have temperatures in the low 60s, likely some upper 50s in spots, 63 in White Plains. We still have some light rain being reported up there, 69 in the city, and you have 65 for Belmar Islip in the mid 60s. 24 hour temperature. To today, the storm returning to the Great White Way. Some of Broadway's most iconic shows finally coming back after the lights went out because of the pandemic. PIX 11's Katie Corrado live in the theater district in Midtown with more. Katie, I loved seeing the tears of joy as performers were again able to entertain us. The theater district in Midtown with more. Katie, I loved seeing the tears of joy as performers were again able to entertain us. cooler days where we could see some areas that don't even make it out of the 70s. Uh, we're going with 75 for Friday, but that would be one of the cooler days. We're watching an air of low pressure off the coast that could really bring things down for us. So we'll be talking about that coming up in the extended forecast as well. Let's go ahead and check in with traffic. We have a live look at the George Washington Bridge. So it is a quiet commute here. We're not looking at any construction. You have that upper level coming through the toll plaza and onto the span moving pretty nicely. That upper level on the outbound side also looking good. And if you're headed to the lower level, I also in for a nice. Of, um, well, so as I speak of Long Island, but this is the cross island. This is the Cross Island Parkway the tolls, but the upper level also getting heavy on that inbound side. So uh, George started to see some slowdowns already. The tolls, but the upper level also getting heavy on that inbound side. So uh, George started to see some slowdowns already. The roads, how's it looking there? right now, right? Uh, so it is 610 right now. We are looking at the Hudson River crossings. These were very busy yesterday. Those orchard chips and whatnot, right? Uh, so a live look at the Gowanus. Uh, we are already getting a little. To help beat social isolation in older adults, the Department for the Aging created a program called Friendly Visitors, where volunteers meet seniors once a week in the person's home. But all of that obviously came to a halt once the pandemic shut everything down. PIX 11's Michelle Ross was there when one pair was reunited to see all of our divisions at work, from media to memorabilia yeah. to personal items. And what we have for you today is the special guest curator. Solio, make your way over here, darling. Look at this headpiece. How good, how are you? Nice to see you, thank you so much. Uh, first of all, introduce yourself to us, and I, and I have to be the founder of the Harlem Institute of Fashion. Just wanna also point out, we'll be back in the next hour for a little fashion show that Solio has. Uh, Solio, do you have an extra headpiece for any of us, or maybe yeah, back at the so studio? We can share this, you know, get a little, you know, Okay. Know, fashionable social distance. All right, good. Mm. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thanks. Dan and Betty, we'll send it back to you. I like that. It's fashionable social distance. We all need right. one of those. Stay exactly. six feet away. Exactly. Okay. Jill, thank <laughs> you. Team. Hey, everybody. Thanks for being with us. I'm Betty Wynn. Yeah, I'm Dan Manorino. Thanks for sticking around. Right, let's bring in the team. Marisol and following a deadly weekend on city streets that left a baby and five mm. others dead in separate crashes. Just a sad, sad story. Today, demonstrations are underway this morning in an effort to bring awareness to this crisis. PIX 11's Anthony DeLorenzo. People are so ready to head inside and watch a show. I mean, some of those streets only have theaters, and so when the theaters are closed down, it's like a desolate it's a street. It's ghost town, yeah. And the streets were so desolate in the heart of the pandemic. You could walk down one of these streets and you wouldn't see anybody. So it is so nice to see all the equipment lining the streets, the crew members who were getting into work. It just, it feels really, really good. I thought we were going to hear you do a, a live performance of your report today, you know, in honor of Broadway. In song? <laughs> in song, interpretive dance, something. I leave something the singing like to you, Dan. <laughs> to you. All right, Katie, good to see you. Thank you. Is awesome. your day off? Yes, indeed. September 14th is National Parent. Uh, he, he he'll go into people's houses and they're instantly I mean, best friends. Have you seen him dance on the street? He'll do and what? They're, they're putting platters out. <laughs> putting antipasta platters out.
But it's not, it's, it's not easy for everybody, Marisol. No, no. Making connections is not easy for everyone. Consider social distancing. Social and we're with our guest curator. This is Solio. Sole, welcome to the show Thank today again. Me. Again, if you didn't see him earlier with this fantastic headpiece. Yes. Um, we are celebrating, what, 55 years now? It's the anniversary? Of the Harlem Institute of... Uh, our models, please line up here. Tell us a little bit more about what we can see. We have to be careful. And by yes. the way, oh, yes. what these are again? So these are zip ties. So, you know, fashionable social distance. Um, but... What you around please, you. please, Hold darling. You up right All now. right, good. Thank you okay, so much. This is the remix, so again, okay? come on down here. We're Thanks in Harlem well. at the Schomburg Center, up until Thursday, uh, 10:30 to 5:30. To come check it out. Yes. Really, Solio, your amazing curator. Thank you, so thank you to much. our beautiful models, and thank you, everyone. Oh, I, I want to like you, but that didn't so make me like annoying. you at all. <laughs> I mean, don't like me. seriously. I don't like me. It's like the clock strikes 5.15 p.m. I sit down, I'm like about to cut the steak and the phone rings and it's like, hello. We, I've At least somehow... they wait till 5.15 <laughs> for you. True. What time is it for you? I, 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 that's my alarm clock so. waking up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are annoying. So here we are here. For the Qu quotation marks. Yes, yes exactly. <laughs> you posted this video on Instagram. Um, is that really you? Is that how you make a cheese steak? It hits theaters this Friday. It will also be available on VOD and all digital platforms.